So years ago, I designed and built this spice rack drawer, right, for holding all our spices. But I never really finished it, and all the spice dust kind of got on the top. Plus, I made kind of crappy labels with a label maker, and I was never that impressed with it. So I decided it was time to build another one. So I planed down some of this Brazilian hardwood, jointed it, and uh, set it up to glue. Uh, no biscuits or anything, just a basic glue up with yellow glue. Um, and a couple bar clamps, and so I had a solid piece of material that was ready for lasering, machining, and all the other processes I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, once that thing had time to dry, uh, I ran it through a planer one more time just to clean up those two edges together, and uh, even ran it through our drum sander to make sure that thing was perfectly ready to go for the next step here. My drawing was pretty basic. I just had to set if I was going horizontal or wrapping the text around the holes. I tested the laser on a piece of the material, and once I knew I was good to go, I wrote my CNC program. When I, uh, before I went and drilled those, um, all those holes out with the CNC router, I went and put a screw down the center uh, so that those things wouldn't break free after it would cut it out. So then those blanks would stay inside and stuck to the board as I cut it, and then I just removed those as it was cutting uh, the rest of the holes there. When that thing was done, it ran around the whole perimeter, and I did that so I had an absolute zero in the lower left-hand corner, and I was going to use that then to center my laser when I had to put the letters on. Uh, the backside did blow out a little bit, so I did run an eighth-inch bit over that with my router, and I did sand that thing with 100 and 150. Then I sent it over to the laser, and I go, went ahead and lasered all the spices in in alphabetical order so I could find everything later. When it was all done, I sanded everything down with, again, 150 lightly. Little side note, I did uh, take my spindle sander to the inside of this thing, and it did pick it up and fling it across the shop, so don't recommend that. I went heavy on my finish. I just did a clear uh, gym floor finish, whatever the heck they use for gym floors, and I did about three coats of that. To the end, I biscuited on a piece of hardwood that I was going to stain to the same color as the uh, rest of the cabin so that's why that thing's gray there and after my three coats I glued that thing up with a couple clamps overnight and installed those biscuits. So here you can see the old one versus the new one obviously the new one looks a lot better it's like cleaner neater I like the lasered on stuff as opposed to the old stuff. I swapped out my drawer guides so this was already fit to the size of the cabinet and I just have the uh, mating pair already installed in the cabinet and I swapped those out and slid them right back into where the old one is and this is what it looks like when it's all done. See, it pulls out real clean and again, nice and neat. And then of course, I have all my spice jars alphabetized now uh, for a lot of mediocre cooking that I'll be doing in the future in this kitchen. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.